Smooth Operator Pro is the latest evolution of Baby Audio's acclaimed spectral signal balancer. Easily remove harshness, muddiness and masking from your audio and achieve cleaner mixes. Revamp your sound's DNA at the spectral level to enhance and reshape your tracks in powerful ways. In this video I explore all of Smooth Operator Pro's features and demonstrate how to use them in your music. Let's dive in. Harshness can creep up in any source material, especially when it's sonically complex. Notching it out band by band with an EQ not only takes time, but can wreak havoc on the sound's original character and introduce new problems like phase shift. Smooth Operator Pro lets you reduce harsh resonances without damaging EQ filters for a more natural sound with increased clarity. <laughs> Low-end harmonics can often be a struggle to control, even with sophisticated tools like multiband compression. When you're dealing with conflicting kick samples or unruly bass that seems to change with every note, it may be a sign that harmonic resonance is building up in the wrong places. Use Smooth Operator Pro's shelving filters to zoom in on your low-end and carve out harmonic space where it matters most. The large knob on the upper left adjusts the global threshold. As you lower it, Smooth Operator Pro begins to improve the areas of the signal where frequency energy is most concentrated. With the global settings on the left, you can configure in detail how the plugin responds to incoming signals and processes them. You can tailor Smooth Operator Pro's response to your material by adding custom processing nodes in the frequency window and fine-tune their settings in the bottom panel. By overriding the global settings, each frequency node becomes an individual resonance suppression toolbox, giving you precise control that other plugins don't offer. The global settings influence all aspects of the signal, except for nodes that are marked as override global. The large knob on the left adjusts the threshold. Signal parts below the threshold remain unaffected, while those exceeding the threshold will be processed. Therefore, the lower the threshold, the greater the impact. The overall functionality of Smooth Operator Pro can be tailored using the six global control menus, each of which contains various parameters. On the global setup page, you can choose between two frequency distribution modes. Even detects resonant peaks with a flat neutral profile, while Skew uses a slightly weighted detection curve for a more pronounced effect in key areas. Low preservation restricts the processing at the low end of the sound. Frequencies below the cutoff pass through the plugin unaffected, which helps to preserve a sound's bass while processing the remaining frequency range. High preservation works similarly at the high end of the material. Everything above the cutoff remains unaffected by Smooth Operator Pro. Makeup lets you quickly add gain to the signal to compensate for any level changes introduced as a result of frequencies being attenuated. Boost the signal up to 24 dB. With a glance at the center display, you can quickly see if and where you're losing volume. The level of the input signal is shown in a faded color behind the output signal level. Simply lift the makeup until the two curves light up again to compensate for the lost volume. You wanna come with me? I can see it in your eyes, it's a feeling that you can't deny I'll bring you high so deep In the global focus menu, you can select the detection style for the spectral peak reduction. RMS uses the average spectral intensity as a reference and is most effective with slower sustained material such as strings or pads. Peak responds to the highest magnitude of the signal, providing a snappier response for percussive or transient rich material such as drums or certain vocals. 
Detail adjusts the number of individual frequency detection zones. Think of it in terms of resolution. The higher the detail, the more precisely you can target problematic areas. Isolation determines how much the surrounding areas of a node are processed along with it. Low isolation values lead to a broader and smoother transition from processed to unprocessed areas. The node has a stronger influence on the overall sound, but the effect may seem less noticeable and more natural. At higher isolation settings, the processing focuses sharply on the selected frequency while minimizing the effect on adjacent areas. This enables precise processing of individual frequency ranges with a quick and sharp transition to nearby frequencies. The Global Comp menu features the spectral compression controls. The knee setting adjusts the smoothness of the transition from the unprocessed to the processed effect. Choose soft for a gradual, transparent sounding transition or hard for a more immediate shift. The ratio adjusts the intensity of spectral peak reduction when the signal exceeds the threshold. A higher ratio means the signal is processed more intensely when it surpasses the threshold. Similar to a compressor, the signal remains unprocessed at a ratio of 1 to 1. Attack adjusts the onset time for the spectral peak reduction. At low attack time settings, the reduction kicks in immediately when the threshold is crossed. At higher attack time settings, the reduction occurs more smoothly and takes longer to reach its peak. Release determines the time it takes for spectral peak reduction to normalize after activation. Lower settings yield a quick and immediate release, whereas higher settings result in smoother results. Smooth Operator Pro includes new stereo imaging parameters, providing you with detailed control over the harmonic content in stereo signals. Shift the intensity of Smooth Operator Pro's processing between the left and right channels with the LR balance control. Or set it to MS mode to process the mid and side content differently. Use the stereo link controls to analyze incoming audio in mono at 100% or a separate left and right channels at 0%. Settings in between can help you control the amount of difference between the left and right channels for crucial materials such as entire mixes. When you route an external audio track to Smooth Operator Pro and activate external sidechain, the plugin uses the external signal as the basis for detection instead of the processed signal. For example, if you process a bass line and use a kick drum as external sidechain input, the frequency will suppress the bass specifically within the frequency range of the kick drum. This is similar to ducking with a sidechain compressor, but instead of attenuating the entire signal, only the sections that clash with the kick are reduced. This results in a much more precise and transparent outcome.
In the global output menu, you can blend the dry and processed signals and adjust the overall output level. With the monitor switch, you can listen to the spectral content that has been removed from the output signal, ensuring that Smooth Operator Pro focuses exactly on the parts of the sound you want it to. So far, we have discussed the global settings that uniformly affect the entire signal. To fine-tune individual frequency ranges of your signal in greater detail and independently from the global settings, create a separate processing node by double-clicking on the frequency line. Drag the node up or down to adjust its threshold relative to the global threshold. Move the node from left to right to adjust the frequency. Use the scroll wheel to quickly adjust the width of a node. To hear the note in isolation, select Solo. If you drag the note down, the processor will set a lower threshold in this frequency range, leading to more intense processing of the signal in this area. If you drag it up, the threshold in this area increases, resulting in the signal being processed less intensely in this frequency range compared to the overall signal. This way you can quickly fine-tune the threshold to meet your needs. Support you have a drum mix that you generally like, but the kick drum is too bass heavy. Keep the global threshold above the level, create a note for the bass and lower that note's threshold. Instead of lowering the global threshold, create a note just for the bass and adjust it accordingly. Now only the bass frequency of the kick drum is attenuated, while the rest remains unchanged. Add more notes by double-clicking in the frequency display and remove them by double-clicking again. Click the notes to switch between them. The currently selected note number appears in the bottom menu. The bottom panel menu also shows the frequency, width and threshold of the selected note, which can be adjusted here as well. At this point, only the node's threshold varies, but it continues to function according to the global settings in all other respects. We can modify this through the node settings below. On the right side of the panel, there are menu tabs for focus, imaging and compression. These three menus contain the same controls as their global counterparts, but they apply only to the selected node. If you open the imaging menu and enable override, the stereo imaging settings from the node menu will take precedence over the global settings for this node. Consequently, within the frequency range influenced by the node, the spectral resonance suppression will operate differently compared to the rest of the signal. The node focus and imaging settings operate similarly. The override feature enables you to fine-tune various nodes for specific frequency ranges if you choose to do so. For example, if your guitar recording sounds good across most of the spectrum, but has an issue in one particular frequency area, you can set a medium global focus value while increasing it in the problematic area for a more precise result. This concludes our walkthrough of Smooth Operator Pro. We hope you enjoyed the video and that it helps you get the most out of your new plugin. And now, make some music! <laughs>